with Mike Kerfman after a uh, tough loss uh, in three overtimes to MSU Moorhead. Uh, Mike, uh, just a battle tonight. So what can you talk? What can you say about the game? Well, I thought we played with a lot more energy and a lot more um, just got after it tonight. And you know that was encouraging to see. Um, coming back after the game last night, where really I didn't think we played for 40 minutes of, of intensity, and and uh, so you know a lot of a lot of strange, u unique situations when you have a three overtime game. Not many people play in a th ever play in a three overtime game, and you know we had chances at the end. They had chances at the end, and you know you go up by three, and they bank in a three point shot to tie it at 91, and then they hit a bank shot runner at the end to win it. And so just got to give you tip your hat to Moorhead, um, but it was it was a it was a slugfest. I mean I, I was proud of. The play we got some from a lot of players, Sam Baldwin and, and Morgan Lee fouled out in regulation, or the first overtime. I don't even remember what it was, and and so we had to go deeper in our bench. And I thought the players responded, and and uh, hopefully this this experience and this type of uh, atmosphere and, and great crowd um, will help us as we go into these last couple weekends. It's a lot of positives, other than we didn't win the game, and that's that's obviously the goal, and that's very frustrating. But um, you know, it was just it was one of those. It was just a battle. Uh, it's Talk a little about uh, the season as a whole. It just seems like uh, the team, uh, despite injuries and, and this or that, is is right there. Just can't get over that hump. Um, a lot of youth on this on this squad this year. Is, these type of games help the future of the, of the program. I think so because you can't emulate these types of time and score situations in practice. You know, you we work on end of game situations. We work on you know up one down one, a couple minutes to go, a minute to go, thirty seconds to go. But you know when you have you know, eight, nine hundred people watching you and the shot clock's running down and the excitement and everything, it's, it, it, it can't do anything but help you and hopefully it will as we go move forward and, and you know, as crazy as it seems, hopefully some people gain some confidence by how they play. I thought Ellie Wesling played probably her best game of the year today and so hopefully that helps springboard her, you know, she's only a sophomore. So a lot of good things, um, but it was a, a very tough one to lose on Alumni Day and, and our Play for K Day and, and there's a lot of things going on. Um, but I was proud of their effort and, and how we battled and hung in there.